It's been a busy couple weeks of fabricating parts. I've been trying to knock out everything I need to get done so that when my parts from PCBWay arrive, um, all we have to do is assemble. So yeah, let me get you caught up and show you everything we made. Let's go. Let's make the build surface. Um, since we're printing stainless steel, I'm gonna make this out of stainless steel. I'm gonna make two of them. That way if I need to do back-to-back -back prints, I can just remove it and swap in the other one. There's about three to four millimeters of material above the screw head. So um, after each print, I'll be able to just resurface these over and over and over again for a while. I got the build plate milled down to size. I still have one more piece of material um, so I can make a second one, but I'm gonna wait on that now. Now I need to set up the cam file so I can do the pockets and holes so we can mount this. Based on your recommendations, I changed my counter bore holes into these open pockets. Um, that way, hopefully it's easier to access the screws once this is full of powder. We have our first build plate. Um, this is my first time cutting stainless steel on this machine, uh, so I wasn't sure what to expect, but it actually handled it pretty well. Let's go try to get this assembled. For the powder delivery side, I'm just going to laser cut this top plate to help keep the powder out of all the screw holes. Let's pick up where we left off. Thank you guys so much. You gave me so much great feedback and ideas of how I should try to tackle the ceiling of these edges. And I've been doing a lot of experimenting. Um, I think the most common reply was uh, PTFE or Teflon um, sliders. Um, I bought some of the material um, just to kind of see how I might think it might work. And um, what I came up with was that it's just, it's a pretty rigid material. And I didn't show you this last time, but although dimensionally these are pretty accurate, um, they're not quite square. These uh, edges actually have a slight like bow inward to them. Um, so I was concerned about trying to machine a, a rigid plastic piece to fit in there. I just thought it was just going to be a real challenge and I'd probably never ever get it right. So I wanted to do something with a material more compliant. Um, another common thing was felt. It cut out really nicely on the CO2 laser. Um, I played around with a number of different sizes trying to get the fit just right where it was snug but yeah it wasn't too tight that it didn't want to slide. I did try PTF dry lube on here uh, with the o-rings and it didn't really seem to make quite a difference. Also uh, graphite was another common suggestion. So anyways I've been doing a lot of testing and what I came up with was um, doing a layer of felt and then my rubber wiper on both one on the bottom and then one on the top right under the build plate. I thought um, having this right underneath the, the build plate would keep the powder at its utmost position and also with the softness of the felt I thought that may give me an opportunity to slightly tighten or loosen these screws um, to help level this uh, printing bed. I did the same thing for the powder delivery one rubber and felt, one rubber and felt and it seems to seal pretty good. I would say not perfectly though. Um, another thing you guys brought up was um, what am I going to do about the powder that escapes? I played around with making some holes down here that I could open up and retrieve that extra powder that gets through there. But ultimately when this is on the machine I realize it's going to be really difficult just to get in there and work because of all the piping and stuff. So I thought the easiest solution is literally just to lift it back out the way it goes in. For both of these, I can just take off these four screws to lift off the top surface, and then there's four screws that will connect it to the rod, um, and then I should be able to probably thread some screws in and lift them out, vacuum up any powder that gets in there. So I don't know. We're going to try this out as our first attempt and see how it goes. But anyways, I think we have everything we need that we can get these installed on the machine. One last thing. You guys brought up the pressure differential that's going to be created by this piston in here. Um, between the lower side and up above on the bill plate. Um, so based on your suggestions, I've uh, drilled some holes and added some fittings here so I can tie these into the main printing chamber with a hose to hopefully uh, take care of that.
Both of those are installed. Let's see if we can get these plates dropped in there and attached to the cylinders. All right, so this side is the powder delivery. And this side, we'll get the build platform. Well, they're both in there now. Not much else we can do really until we get the main chamber built so we can get these attached. Next, I wanna start fabricating some of these parts we need. Um, this is for the gas recirculation in and the gas recirculation out. And this is to attach the oxygen sensor. But yeah, we're going to need to do some laser cutting and welding. I've got the files all prepared on my fiber laser cutting machine. So let's cut these out of some 2 millimeter stainless steel. With those pieces bent, it should go something like this. So let me figure out how to fixture this up and we'll try welding stainless steel for the first time. I think I've got everything set up here. I've got some 0.8 millimeter stainless steel wire. Um, I've turned the laser power down to 700 watts. I'm using Skyfire's Mobile Weld Star 2 kilowatt laser welder. Um, I'll leave the link in the description. I've got my part clamped up here. I think the clamps are going to be in the way, but if I can at least get it tacked and I can juggle those around. I'm uh, welding stainless steel for the first time. I'm going to use my vent hood. I'm using this Fume Clear SC2004 fume extractor. Um, I bought it specifically for this application of welding stainless steel. Um, yeah, it seems to have pretty good suction. I'm pretty happy with it so far. Got everything opened up uh, with the air circulating through here, and I'm going to wear a respirator too. Um, all right, let's give this a try. That first well turned out pretty nice. Let me get this fixture back up for the next piece. That side came out pretty nice too. I went back over a couple little spots to make sure it was airtight. Both these sides bent in a little bit as I welded them, so I bent them back out just a hair. This is gonna go on top here. And uh, I guess so for this piece, I'll have to weld on the outside. So I'll probably just clamp it down here and go around and tack it around the whole edge. I've clamped up this end piece so I can go ahead and tack it down too. That came out pretty well. I think it's airtight. Um, we need to put this flange on here next. But I think uh, before we do that, I should probably sit, go ahead and sand this to get off these little pieces where the wire's stuck. Uh, it'll be much easier to do it now than once the flange is on there. So let me go clean this up real quick and then we'll do this next piece. Last piece, I have this KF25 flange I bought off McMaster Car. Need to weld it right there on top. We have a finished part. It turned out pretty well. It looks like it's airtight, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it for my amateur welding standards. While I have everything set up here, let's go ahead and weld on two more flanges. This KF25 fitting. Uh, for the air recirculation system and this KF40 fitting 
for the oxygen sensor. We're done with welding for today. Those both came out pretty nice. I think I need to work on my technique. Um, the wire is kind of sticking whenever I want to stop and uh, not sure how to tackle that. But yeah, pretty happy with that. These should be good to go. Next, let's go ahead and fabricate these parts for the powder overflow. Uh, again, more laser cutting and welding. I've got this next round of stainless steel parts all set up here. My material's loaded. Let's give it a try. This next round of parts are all cut out, so let me do some quick cleanup and then we can begin welding again. I have everything ready here to weld together my powder overflow chute, I guess you would call it. Kind of like the last piece, I need to weld on these two side plates and then here's the other wall. Let's go on the end, have a KF25 flange to weld on there, and then the flange will go on this side. Uh, for the powder recovery, I basically I bought a stainless steel water bottle and I'm going to try welding this plate on here on the top with a flange so I can attach the two together with a clamp. So yeah, let's get to welding see if we can make this work. I'm done welding for the night. This piece turned out great, a uh, huge success. This piece was a failure. I figured it might be. I'm trying to weld a two millimeter piece of stainless steel to this thin bottle, which I'm not sure how thick it is, but it's probably not even half a millimeter. And it just keeps wanting to blow out even though I turned the power way down. So I think I need to cut this off and rethink this, try to get maybe a thinner piece of stainless steel that I can weld this to, uh, so I can turn the power down even lower to try not to blow this bottle out. So yeah, we'll try this again. Let's finish up this last part for the gas recirculation system. Um, this piece is gonna go inside the chamber. Basically, uh, the gas will enter here and it'll redirect it around to the back side. I think this might be the last round of laser cut stainless steel parts. These are all the pieces we need to make up the rest of the gas recirculation system. Um, this part's going to be inside the printing chamber. Basically, the gas is going to enter here, go across the build plate, and then be driven through this channel, back around to the back, and through the blower. So yeah, let's see if we can get this welded up. This part's done. It came out pretty well. It's pretty square and pretty flat. Um, though I'm realizing now that I missed a huge opportunity. Right there, I have a square tube cutting machine and I have one inch stainless steel tube. I literally could have made this out of two sections with a 45 degree cut there and just had one weld and welded on two little tabs. It would have been so much easier and fun and an opportunity to use the tube cutter. But, uh, oh well. I've got my light burn file all set up for the remaining gaskets we need to cut out, so let's do it.
I've got some OD7 laser safety glass for my front window. I've done a test cut here and set up my file. So let's cut out the window. I decided we're just gonna scrap this stainless steel bottle. I don't think it's worth trying to weld to this really thin metal again. I think it's gonna to be too difficult. Instead, I just bought a piece of stainless steel pipe. I think it's 1.5 millimeter thickness. And I've laser cut top and bottom plate. And I think we'll just take this piece of KF25 pipe um, that I took off the machine earlier and I'll cut a piece off of there and we'll weld this all together. We have a bottle. I think that's gonna work great. It turned out pretty nice. There are three parts that I'm gonna use 3D printing for, at least now while we're experimenting. Um, the first is this recoder blade. Um, as you can see, there's uh, five holes here in it. Um, there'll be screws through there uh, and some room so we can adjust it to make it level. On the bottom side, there's gonna be a uh, silicone cord embedded into it. Um, that will be the part that actually touches the powder. Next are two parts I'm gonna print for the gas recirculation system. Um, first is this part here. It's got a bunch of small channels that I'm hoping will create laminar flow as the gas comes across there. And um, the second piece right here is gonna be an insert um, that will hopefully um, create these channels um, so the suction uh, will be even across the build platform. So yeah, we're gonna try printing those two pieces. And last thing, we need to make the parts for this belt tensioner. Basically, I have an eight millimeter shaft that goes to the middle here that I need to cut to length. And I have these two aluminum pieces that I need to mill. These two parts are cut out. Now I need to do some uh, drilling operations in the site. These belt tensioner parts should be ready to go. That was a busy couple weeks of making parts but I believe that's everything I need and we can start assembling this. We managed to tackle a lot of these small parts. Everything's ready to go. My box of parts from PCBWay have arrived, so I'm really excited about the next video. I think putting all this together is gonna to be really fun. Um, yeah, thank you to Skyfire for your support. Um, the laser welder has been invaluable in making all these components. And thank you to all my Patreon supporters for making all this possible. Thank you guys.